all your lips, I heard your voice. Believe me, I just had no choice. Wild horses couldn't make me stay away. I thought about a moonlit night, arms around you, good and tight. That's all I had to see for me to say. Oh, hello, Mary Lou. Goodbye, heart. Sweet Mary Lou. Dave, for that song you just gave us. Thank you. And I'm hoping you'll stick around just a little bit here and everybody else because I want you all to know that uh, David is available for private parties in advance. You get a hold of him and he'll be your DJ. I like to be more of like a host of the karaoke more than the singer. Uh, yes, if there's a, it's a situation where we don't have a lot of singers or slow, whatever the case may be, I don't mind singing a song once in a while and doing that. But I like to host and get the people involved. And uh, like just uh, last time we were at Hurricanes, we had 16 singers and that filled the whole night. We had a good cycle of people coming up and singing. So that's the kind of karaoke evening I like when I can get everybody else involved and enjoy the singing. Well, Rick got a hold of me last night and said y'all had a great time. They we were having a fun time at Hurricanes last night. Good. And I wanted y'all to know a little something about him. He's not been around this area that long, I don't believe. How long have you been here? Total of six years. Six so not years? Too yeah, I just started the karaoke uh, part of my DJ business about two years ago. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, well yes. that's why I haven't seen him around the karaoke stuff. There you go. But I just had some friends to tell me I ought to go meet this guy. He's really nice and you'll enjoy his karaoke. So I broke down and I went. But I've enjoyed it. He has a good sound system and he brings in a crowd. And I'm glad to meet him and get him in the circuit of all the karaoke people I know. And I'm glad all you guys out there are enjoying karaoke. You all have really got the crowd coming in on my side. And we get new people every day coming in and uh, joining up their advertisements. So I've got quite a few on there now thanks to you guys. I appreciate that. And I'm going to let you all know a little something about Dave. Dave is from Maryland. That is correct. And Dave, I want you to tell me what brought you to Florida. Well, if you know anything about Maryland, you know there's a lot of things there that really aren't that enjoyable. One is the weather, and two is the politics, and three is the politics, and four is the politics. So uh, pretty much uh, making it to Florida was a no-brainer. I've been here before. In 1979, I worked here for a year and a half, 79 and 80, as a DJ in Cocoa Beach on WRKT AM and FM. And uh, I was an afternoon jock, and that's my first radio job. So I've been down in Florida before, but I went back up to Maryland because money was a little bit better, and family and friends were all up there. And then about six years ago, I made the permanent decision to come down here and retire and love every minute of it. Well, I'm glad he's here, but he's a lot more than just a karaoke DJ. He owned an automobile repair business up there. How did yeah. that do for you? That did well. Uh, that's what got me able to, to do the DJ work on the side and have some fun. I've been doing the DJ work since 1979, both private parties and also radio work. And when I came down here, I retired completely from the auto repair, but I still have an automotive talk show that I air live every Saturday morning, and it airs in Maryland, but uh, it's on the web at wcbm.com, and you can air that on Saturday mornings from 8 to 10 live, and uh, it's a lot of fun, so I still talk to people about auto repair and give them advice, and that allowed me the time to be able to get back into the DJ and the karaoke. Uh, just came as a fruition. I saw how popular it was down here, and I said, well, I think we can probably get some of that together, so so far it's done real well. well. He also does car shows. Mm, yes. And a lot of older classics too. Yeah, I DJ car shows, I DJ all type of parties, uh, and I said karaoke is also involved with private parties too, but car shows are one of my passions. I have a number of automobiles that I love to take to shows, and then I also love to play music and get car shows together. So at Hurricanes where I do the karaoke on Wednesdays, every other Tuesday we do a car show at Hurricanes, and uh, that's a lot of fun too. 
I imagine so. I have yet to go down to a car show. You've got to. That's a lot of fun. We have some beautiful automobiles show up, and it's a beautiful surroundings. You're right next to the water in the shade. It's a fantastic place it's to have a car show. Beautiful spot to hold it. Mm -hmm. So you guys, you hear that? When you get out in the car one day, go down there and check him out on Tuesday afternoons. Sure. Three to six. Three to six. There you go. Um, he's also has three daughters up there. Are they still in Maryland? Well, two in Maryland and one in West Virginia. How about and grandparents? Uh, I'm afraid I don't have any parents or grandparents left, unfortunately. Uh, they've all passed, but uh, I don't know grandkids either, so they're still working on that, they tell me. And yeah, I imagine so at this age. <laughs> Thank you folks for listening in today. I'm sure you enjoyed it because I always enjoy doing these shows for you guys. And Dino Pirelli does all the shows for you, and he sets it all up. And I want to thank Dino for this, too. So thank, thank you, Dino. Yes, thank you, Dino. And you guys send him a thank you, too. Thank you very much for listening to us today and coming to Lake County Karaoke Corner.